Not too long ago, tennis was huge in America, but recently it's fallen on hard times and the lack of success and dynamic personalities has contributed to the dwindling interest. But a few of America's tennis greats are trying to rejuvenate their sport. Dave Noriega caught up with them as they promote their sport across the country. It's like baseball fantasy camp, but for tennis fans. This week, four legends of the game stopped in Salt Lake for one night of competition. But before facing each other on the court, McEnroe, Sampras, Courier, and Blake took some time to play with a few people in an unforgettable afternoon. It's How another it level of tennis. It's amazing. And to watch them hit a shot half speed at you, that's the fastest thing that's ever come at you in your life, <laughs> is true. astounding. I think they get pretty competitive. They have a good time. And uh, I think once, uh, once they get into it, they just want to beat us, which is fun. Imagine a one-on-one -on -one game with your favorite athlete. Well, that's what a group of tennis fans from here in Utah got to experience this week when the Tennis Power Share Series made a stop in Salt Lake City with some of the best players the game has ever seen. John McEnroe, Pete Sampras, Jim Courier, and James Blake. And for these fans, from beginning level to advanced and young to seasoned, it was a chance they'll never forget. It felt, it's, I can't describe it. It's like <laughs> making a swish from half court, you know? And to zip it past those guys who were kind and toying with me, it just, it felt great. One of the volleys, he, was, he volleyed it to me, and I couldn't look at the ball because I had to look at him. I couldn't believe it was Pete Sampras on the other side of the net. <laughs> so it almost I, hit me. That was the hot thing. You had to look at the ball, and you wanted to look at that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were competitive. They were into it, which is good. I mean, they're paying good money to do this, so we want to make sure they have fun. And But these guys did great. It was a lot of fun, and um, I hope they enjoyed it. These players say it's a chance to build excitement for tennis in a place that's usually about skiing and snowboarding. This is an area that probably doesn't see a lot of the top level tennis except on TV. So when we see it up close, it really makes a difference. Part of it is you hope there's a couple of kids that would be inspired, some young kid that would come and that would turn to tennis. It's one of the few sports that you can play for the rest of your life, like golf, like skiing. You know, these are things that you can do all through your life. It's a little bit harder to do that with football and basketball. So what does it feel like to play the perfect shot on one of these pros? I wanted to see if I could even get a racket on it, let alone get it over the net. And <laughs> All of a sudden, I zipped it past him, and I thought, okay, <laughs> did that. <laughs> oh, epic. Um, unbelievable. unbelievable. Yeah, just to get a passing shot on Sampras. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, that was great stuff on Tuesday.